The Yale School of Medicine just formed a study group to explore psychedelic drugs and to focus on the potential upsides of them. So Vice reports on this, quote, Recent studies have rehabilitated psychedelics as potentially therapeutic drugs, including clinical trials of hallucinogenic mushrooms as a therapeutic aid in the treatment of anxiety and addiction, MDMA as a useful tool, excuse me, in the treatment of PTSD and social anxiety caused by autism, and LSD for people suffering from anxiety caused by serious illness. The group will address fundamental questions such as, what are psychedelic substances and how do they affect the brain? And finally, what is the evidence to guide clinical use? Uh, so this is great because we're finally starting to use science when it comes to drugs. I mean, it's something that should have been done, oh, I don't know, from day one. But we've had this puritanical streak and this mindset of just say no, abstinence, zero tolerance. So, we haven't done, in many cases, the most basic, fundamental research on uh, substances that have obvious potential. And now we're finally getting to a place where we're starting to do it again. It's a revival of movements that took place in the 60s and the 70s, where, you know, you had psychologists who were like, yeah, I'm going to fucking experiment with this because it has potential upsides. But the government came in and shut it down. Why? Because, oh my God, the dirty hippies, the big, bad, evil hippie movement, and they're ruining America. And we need good little busybody workers so, and people to fight in wars and die for us. So uh, don't stay away from the substances. Well, now we're having a revival and now we're having respected people say, no, that doesn't make any sense. And the argument that I've always used to point out how this is obviously absurd is, you do know that when it comes to anesthesiology, a lot of that is just, it's narcotics. So if you uh, get in a car accident and you you have a compound fracture of your femur, guess what? When you get to the hospital, they're giving you heroin. They're giving you morphine, which is heroin. It, it, the way it uh, reacts in your body is exactly the same. There's very little difference. Uh, when it's outside your body, when it's in it, your body processes it the exact same way. So they're giving you heroin. Now, again, you're raised to think, oh, drugs, bad, heroin, bad. No, never. But then the second you, you get hurt in an excruciating way, that's the first thing they give you. Why? It fucking works. So, this is a clear example of hardcore narcotics, strong drugs, being used to improve your life and make you feel better and uh, help your chances of recovery. And it's a positive thing, and we all accept that at this point. But why is it when it comes to certain drugs? Oh, no, not those! Not those! Keep them away! Marijuana bad! Weed bad! Okay, oh, hallucinogens? Magic mushrooms? LSD? Oh no, those are just for uh, dropouts from society who, who, you know, end up going crazy and get addicted. And it just shows the, the ignorance of a lot of people on this because uh, psychedelic drugs are not addictive. <laughs> it's one of, the old, one of the few classes of drugs where there's no potential really for addiction. Whereas uppers and downers, you know, uh, stuff like that, yeah, there's a high likelihood of addiction or there's a chance of addiction, I should say. Because the majority of all drug users are, are actually moderate drug users. But this is positive, and we're taking a step in the right direction here, and this is the future, man. This is the future, and it just pains me to think of all the research we didn't do yet to this point, because so many people could have better li could have had better lives. There are recent studies that found that uh, when people are in hospice care and they're going to die soon, and you let them take LSD trip or they do MDMA or something like that, d different drugs for different studies, that there's overwhelmingly positive effects. We've been holding this for people from so long. Why is that any different, or how is that any different from forcing somebody to not have the morphine after they snap their femur in a car accident? There is no difference. You're an asshole in both cases. The Puritan ideology must go away. And as a cautionary note here at the end, let me just say this. They allude in the article to something I don't like. And the thing they allude to is, well, yeah, we're going to do scientific research and we're going to have neuroscientists and all these important people in here to, to talk about this stuff. All good so far. But then they just threw a fucking wrench in it and they're like, and also spiritualists and mysticists to work with the other people. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What? Let's rewind here. Don't do that. Don't do that. 
one of those things, the science-based people, they actually are going to get to the answers and they're going to do studies and give you facts and give you information and data. And the mystic people, I got nothing against them, but you don't belong in that room, son. Okay, I can't have your fucking theorizing about space and like, oh God, I le let's listen to some Willie Nelson as we talk about this. Okay, no, you're cool, I'm sure. You're nice people, but mysticism is not true. It's not real. It's what you just buy into it. It's like a spiritual ideology that's no different from, you know, religion. So it's no different from how, hey, let's invite an imam or a priest in here to weigh in on thoughts on magic mushrooms. Or how about not? How about, that ain't got shit to do with this. This is science. This is research. We need to start treating it exactly like that. You know, you you don't allow in, if you're doing, uh, if Stephen Hawking is doing research on something, it, it's not like he invites in a spiritualist. No, he's like, you have nothing to add to this conversation. I have nothing against you, but go do something in, with the field that you're in. So keep out the mystics and all that nonsense because that's going to drag down something that's otherwise a fantastic field.